Be obedient. Just give it out. There's five that are recording. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Just let it out. You got it. It's flowing all over you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You know, as we look sometimes, we look to the north, the south, the east, and the west, but we don't look inside. We don't see what's already on side of us is God. You're not going to find God. You have God. And he said it's the anointing that breaks the yoke. And the reason we sit back and we do not participate, we do not enter in and touch the reality of who we are and who he is is because of a blockage or an impasse. Many of us look at ourselves through natural eyes instead of seeing ourselves through the eyes of faith. He said, move out of the realm of discomfort. Get into the place that is spiritually comfortable. Walking in faith, walking in hope, and walking in love is a demand put on us by the truth. And God said that truth will rise up inside us and it will increase our borders and our boundaries to touch a hurting, crying, dying world. It's not going to happen because people come to church. It's going to happen because the church goes to them. There has got to be a place in our walk with God. He says, get up higher. Quit staying in the rut you're in and cast off the rut. Did I not say casting the whole of your cares upon me because I care for See, if you can't connect, God said, you'll never affect the world around you. You won't affect your family. You won't affect your neighborhood. You won't affect your nation. You cannot affect what you will not commit to. When you take that anointing that God placed in you through the new birth and you walk upright with it, God said, I will, not might, I will set captives free. I will heal broken hearts. We must participate When God says, raise your hands, raise your hands. When God says, walk and shout, walk and shout. It's not a question what I feel about it. It's what did God say? Can I get an amen? Amen. This morning, if you're sick in your body, there's a command by God that said, if any among you sick, let them call upon the elders of the church and let them anoint them with oil. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. Is anybody here sick this morning? Come on up here. I'm going to anoint you with oil. I'm not doing this because it's a religious tradition. It's because God. So in James 5, 16, when you understand this is what God said, then I want to expand my expectancy to receive what God said. We're going to sit down. I'm going to, I'm going to anoint you for my wife, for Tiffany, I mean for uh, Debbie. She's got a toothache, and, uh, you know, she's really hurting this morning. And so if you've got somebody else that you know, we're going to command the blessing upon these people here but we're going to command the blessing upon those that are not. Miss Margaret, Amen. we command the blessing upon her. Say, I command it. Amen. You see, your authority is inside Christ. Then you must release it by commanding something to change. Not asking it to change, not believing it's going to change, but commanding it's going to change. Heavenly Father, we just come to you right now in Jesus' name, God. I lift up Miss Margaret to you, a faithful and tried true woman who loves you, God, at 93 years young. And God, she'd be here if her health wasn't having some issues. But I talked to her son. She's got some health issues. God, we stand in agreement and command the blessing of healing upon our sister. We command the blessing on each one today as they've been anointed with oil that that prayer that we're praying, that we are praying, that we are praying, We pray and we get an agreement. The unity of faith and the bond of peace will be upon each one. My brother Bert is healed. My sister Cindy is healed. My brother uh, Frank is healed. I thank you, God, that every person that has been in the shadows saying, I wish, I wish, I wish, it'll come to thank you, thank you, I am. My sister Lonnie's got uh, cancer of the throat. His sister Lonnie's got cancer of the throat. You know what? I believe God can do all things. We're going to pray for her right now and say, Father, I thank you that we send your word and she's going to be healed because you commanded us to do that. Not because we can do it, but because you commanded us to do it. Then, God, we thank you for that. And we call it done in Jesus' name. And we all said, Praise God. Tell someone you can be seated.